The Accelerator just got buffed, increasing its value, DPS, and more. The Accelerator has been outclassed for a while, so does this buff finally make it the best DPS tower again? In this video, I'll be showcasing all the stat changes, values, and uses of the Accelerator, then give my personal ranking of how good it is. So hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get started. Displacement cost was increased from 4,250 to 5,000 cash, making it even more of a late game tower. At level 0, its damage increased from 10 to 12, its ammo went from 180 to 240, its charge time decreased from 3 to 2.5, its cooldown increased from 2 to 2.5, and its overall DPS increased from 20.96 to 26.7. At level 1, its total cost increased from 5,050 to 6,200 cash, its damage increased from 15 to 20, its ammo went from 180 to 240, its charge time decreased from 3 to 2.5, its cooldown increased from 2 to 2.5, and its overall DPS increased from 24.29 to 32.4. At level 2, its total cost increased from 6,400 to 8,450 cash. Its damage increased from 15 to 20. Its range increased from 17.5 to 19. Its ammo went from 300 to 420. Its charge time decreased from 3 to 2.5. Its cooldown increased from 2 to 2.5. And its overall DPS increased from 33.4 to 45.7. At level 3, its total cost increased from 10,400 to 12,450 cash. Its damage increased from 20 to 30. Its range increased from 17.5 to 19. Its charge time decreased from 3 to 2.5, its cooldown increased from 2 to 2.5, and its overall DPS increased from 54.6 to 66.7. At level 4, its total cost increased from 20,900 to 21,950 cash, its range increased from 17.5 to 20.5, its ammo decreased from 1,200 to 1,050, its charge time was cut in half from 3 to 1.5, its cooldown increased from 2 to 2.5, and its DPS increased from 109.08 to 113.5. Finally, at level 5, its total cost decreased from 54,900 to 51,950 cash, its damage was reduced from 45 to 40, its range increased from 20 to 22, its ammo increased from 3,600 to 4,800, its charge time decreased from 2 to 1.5, its cooldown increased from 2 to 2.5, and its DPS stayed the same at 300. Every level before max level got a pretty significant increase in DPS, and every level got better value. This makes the accelerator much better in the mid game, as a higher value will make it more worthwhile to save up for. Its value at level 0 went from 4.93 to 5.34 DPS per 1k spend, which is a decent increase. And while its DPS didn't get better at max level, its value you did, increasing from 5.46 to 5.77. This is still the level with the best value, which is convenient for a late game DPS tower, as you'll want to max them all out. But in my opinion, the most notable buff is most definitely the increased ammo, especially at max level, and now shoots continuously for 12 seconds instead of 8, making it much more reliable. This has been one of the biggest issues of the accelerator, so this buff is a pretty big deal. You don't have to worry as much about enemies just slipping by, as the accelerator is overall just more consistent. On top of that, it can now get more buffed by support towers. Because of its overcharge meter, the commander only used to buff it by 20 8.33%. Now, it gets buffed by 33%. That means its max DPS with a commander went from 384.99 to 399, which is a 14.01 increase in DPS. So, while the regular max DPS you can get with 8 excels stayed at 2,400, its DPS under a commander increased from 3,079.92 to 3,192. That's not a huge difference, but this change becomes even more apparent if you include other support towers like the DJ booth. Overall, the accelerator has gotten much better value, higher DPS in most levels, more consistent, and better under support towers. I'd say it mainly improved in the mid game, and you're likely going to see a lot more people saving up for Accelerator as their first form of DPS. It has good coverage, being able to hit lead and hidden enemies, and decent value. I'm going to rank it as a solid 8 tier. Even with this buff, I still think it's outclassed by other DPS towers like the Engineer, Ranger, and Gatling Gun, as its value still isn't that great. But the added consistency and value definitely will help. And with that, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below how you would rank this tower, and whether or not you agree with me. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. Also, if you want to talk to me, consider checking out my Discord. We got some pretty cool features, like a custom party finder bot that will automatically pair you up with other people who are trying to do the same strategy. There's a link to the server pinned in the comments. And finally, I want to give a huge shout out to these channel members for supporting my content. If you want to add me as a friend on Roblox or get early access to some of my videos, consider becoming a channel member. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Anyways, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.